Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Sports Report. Alongside Mark Kuntz, I'm Matt Finkel. It's National Signing Day for the winter period, primarily the focus on football, but we've got a couple other local high school athletes signing to play other sports as well. And we begin right here in Lima with a couple of Spartans continuing their football careers at the Division I level. Thanks guys. We start with Reuben Flowers III signing to play football at Pittsburgh next year. The All-Ohio wide receiver getting emotional as he thanked his mom and his late father who passed away last year. He feels blessed to have the opportunity to get a scholarship to play football at the next level. You know, this is what my parents pushed me for. You know, all, when I was little, they always said, you know, you see the two ways you're going to get into college, for free or you're just going to land on campus, just to party or something. So, you know, this is, this is, it's a very big deal for me. Also at Lima senior teammate Jalen Thomas making official what he told us last week. And he'll play linebacker at Ball State next year. Today's signing brings lots of emotion to the track's defensive player of the year. I've always dreamed of going, going to college and get a great education. Education is key to me and I, I, want, to, I want to major in uh, visual communications, which is graphics, graphic design and such. And it's just, it's just a real honor to be able to go to college for free. And their teammate Delonte Lyles also making his choice today. The all-purpose Spartan taking his skills to Trine. He invited five boys to sit next to him during the signing as this dream becomes a reality. Them kids that was with me up there today is like my motivation to everything. They've been with me this whole journey, journey high school journey, and um, they're going to continue to be with me. Um, my little brother right here, he, he going to be the next one up, and I got to um, be a role model for him. And Lipsick, Gavin Cup makes it official. The first Putnam County Buckeye in 30 years as he fulfills a lifetime dream and signs with Ohio State. After the ups and downs of last summer, the offensive lineman is thrilled to be part of the nation's top recruiting class. It's pretty cool. Uh, you know, like I said, the guys are even greater, so that makes it even special, more special. You know, full of talent and a bunch of great guys, since it makes that class even more special. I, I was writing something up earlier on my Twitter. I ended up tweeting it, but it was like, you know, every day, every signing day, I always look forward to, you know, I was always sitting on the couch just watching. You know, I couldn't believe this was happening. You know, how cool it would be to be in one of those positions where I was signing with a major, you know, Division One program. And now that I'm here, it's pretty, it's a pretty great feeling. It all worked out in the end, and I'm getting to play for the school of my dreams. The Gavin Cup stories, this is a credit to him. He wanted to be a Buckeye. He was committed somewhere else in the Big Ten and knew that if he came to our camp, there's something might happen in that school. I, I don't know the whole story, but I don't think he was part of their class anymore. And uh, I went down and I stood and watched him because I knew what was going on. But we didn't give it to him because we felt sorry for him. He earned it. He's going to be tremendous. I tell you, he's, and I've recruited him before, before I got here, and to see him grow and his body's changed. The last year, his body's changed and he's grown up, and he is working hard to be a great player. I expect him to play a lot of football games here. More from Gavin Hayes Cup is available online. At Delphus Jefferson today, Wildcat linebacker Dalton Hicks signs his letter of intent to play at Kent State University this fall. I've always been close with Kent State. Um, Paul Haynes is a great guy. Ben Needham is a great guy. And I just fell in love with the place. They started recruiting me my junior year, and I've been I've been taking multiple visits up there unofficially and then went to a couple games in the spring practice. It was great. I love the places up there. I love the people, and uh, the professors are really nice too. I'll be playing linebacker. Uh, hopefully I can get on some special teams real early, and I'm ready to get up there to compete and show them what I got. It's amazing, uh, all of my friends and family come and support me over the years. Uh, this is a great community. I love Delphis, and I'm proud to represent it. Matt Finkel has more from a busy signing day. Thanks, Austin. Finley High School held a ceremony this afternoon for four athletes continuing their athletic careers in college. Trojans kicker Grant McKinnis has earned a scholarship to kick at the University of Kentucky next season. The senior holds the school record at Finley with a 53-yard field goal. And speaking of records, Emmanuel Magulu set the mark with 3,135 career rushing yards, and he will be an Ashland Eagle in the fall. Clearing the path for Magulu, offensive lineman Tucker Routson will continue his football career at Trine University. And rounding out the group is soccer player Sierra Perry, who's taking her talents to the University of Finley. For McKinnis, becoming a part of Big Blue Nation fulfills a lifelong dream. Today, I think it's definitely sunk in. You know, it just it finally feels like it's done and over with, and it's sealed and good to go. It's always been a dream of mine just for it to finally happen. It truly is a blessing. It was just the best fit for me for sure and I couldn't look past playing in the SEC. 
just playing with some of the top guys in the country, fastest guys in the country. I hope to come in and start for four years. Coach Stoops and I have talked about it. You know, I have to go in and compete the job, and I got to win the job, so I have to earn that spot. I took a, a visit there a couple weeks ago, and it was just, I, I liked it a lot. It was a nice location, loved the campus, great facilities, and uh, the offensive scheme was just great, so I knew I could fit in real well. It was a blessing that I got. Uh, recruited by Ashland, it's a very good school, and uh, I'm just really excited. It felt good, you know, every kid has that certain gut feeling that just pushes you there, and that's the one that stuck for me. I'm proud of myself, proud of where I am right now. It's a big honor. The coaches here are great, staff is unbelievable. I mean, I got along with all of them, and they have pushed me to who I am now. The recruiting process was a lot harder than I expected, but it really ended up being worth it, I think. Um, I had a great support system between my family and then Finley High School behind me to get me where I wanted to go, and they made it easy for me. I just feel really blessed. Um, it's just a great opportunity, and I, I really can't wait for the future. Over in Van Wert, an exciting day for four Cougars who will play college football next fall. This is the first time in Coach Keith Recker's four years at the school that Van Wert has had football scholarship signings. Gavin Cross is the first of two players who will be competing in the GLIAC as the 6'4", 240-pound tight end signed his letter of intent to Ashland University. Offensive lineman Nolan Smith put pen to paper and he will play at Wayne State, while Cougars quarterback Colin Smith is set to continue his football career at Davenport University. And finally, Tristan Cowan signed his letter of intent to attend Bluffton University. For all four, today is the reward for the long hours they put in on the gridiron. It's a relief. I've put in a lot of work. Uh, it's always been a dream to play college football and now I have that opportunity. I didn't play football my sophomore year, and taking that year off, I re found my love for the game. And I started hitting the weights hard, working hard on the field. And I didn't think I had the chance to play college football my junior year. And then some smaller schools started reaching out to me. and. I started reaching out to the school, sending my film, and eventually it paid off. I committed actually the Friday before Christmas, and just knowing that the process was over and I had a team for next year it was really relieving. It felt like home. That's the, I think, most important thing when you go on visits. Um, I really like their coaching staffs and what they had like in mind because they know that they can be successful. I know one of the biggest things that uh, brought me there, they have nine senior offensive linemen this year, so I kind of I get a step in. I'm a redshirt freshman year, so kind of get to learn from the best or people that actually have experience. It's amazing. Honestly, I'm, I'm so good. I'm so glad to be able to go to the next level and play on the field. Um, I'm going to be playing against two of my other teammates on the other side of the ball starting 2017. And it's just, it's going to be awesome. The first visit that I took of my scholarships um, was Davenport. Their facilities are second to none. Their coaching staff is second to none. I loved it there and I fell at home. I figured out where I wanted to go a couple months ago and I was Bluffton, and I really liked it. Uh, I really liked the coaching staff, and it was pretty, I liked the campus there, and uh, they had my major, and my, I'm majoring in biology. Staying in the WBL, Wapakoneta also sending athletes to the next level. In his appropriately colored tie, offensive lineman Corey Crawford signed his letter of intent to play football at the University of Finley. Redskin teammate Zach Chambers made it official that he will play at Heidelberg next year, and volleyball standout Jaden Nuss inked her letter of intent to attend UC Claremont. For Crawford, he passed up a handful of other offers, including one from a Division I school to become an Oiler. I chose Finley because I just, I, my first visit there, I just had really family um, oriented this feeling with the coaches and all the players. And I just really liked it all and loved the campus, loved the programs, and obviously loved their football team. So that was probably the reason I chose Finley. I had other schools I was talking to, they're kind of farther away. And, that would be hard for me, you know, being away from the family and everything. And with Finley, I can come home, visit. My parents come and watch games. That's big for me. Picked off! Woo! Corey Crawford! You have to have somebody pushing you at all times to be able to get the best out of you. And I feel like not only my, my, my players that did that on my team, um, I just feel like my, my parents definitely pushed me throughout my whole life, and that really brought me to where I am today. Heidelberg just really felt like home to me, and I loved all the coaches. All the players were really cool. The campus is really nice. Um, it was kind of a smaller part, but their uniforms are pretty sweet. And their home field's pretty nice. Uh, well, I just worked all, all my four years, and I really love winning, and I really love the winning tradition that Heidelberg has, and I'm ready to move on there and hopefully win some championships. I had no idea what to expect going into it, but I always knew that I wanted to go wherever I could to play volleyball because I'm just not ready to stop playing yet. <laughs> it's always been a huge dream.
and I'm super excited to continue that. I think I went through a lot of obstacles and just to be able to stick with it and overcome those and keep going, it made everything worth it. Our final stop of the day is at Bath. Offensive lineman Easton Rudisil signs his letter of intent to play football at Saginaw Valley State. And fellow Wildcat Tyler Shobe also making it official that he will play football at Cincinnati Christian University. The senior spent the day at a signing ceremony in Cincinnati. Finally, golf standout Spencer Stubbs is staying in Ohio as well, signing to play at Lourdes University. For Easton, he hopes to use his visibility at the next level to set a positive example for future athletes. It's been a big dream of mine to play college football ever since I was probably could barely walk, seeing those Ohio State Buckeyes running around the field, and just knowing that I will have my spot in college football. I will have my spot to spread the word of the Lord and uh, help younger kids, ha have younger kids look up to me, but also have fun and play the sport that I love. They're based on moral beliefs and stuff like that. They're very morally based college, therefore I feel like I can fit in well there. The campus is great for me. And obviously I have experience. I'll probably be playing with some of the kids that I played with in high school golf tournaments before. But Toledo is about an hour and 15 minutes away, so home's right there. I know some of the golf courses we're going to play at, and I'm just looking really forward to playing on a collegiate level. Certainly congratulations to all those athletes featured. Don't forget to get more from Ohio State signing day online at our YouTube channel, the Buckeye Insider 2016 playlist. For Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Hoots.